Welcome back, fellow land lovers. This is Luke Smith. I've got another property for you. This one is uh, 5.16 acres. Here's the price right here, $999. I like that price. It's simple. It's less than a thousand, just barely less than a thousand bucks. It's five acres. <laughs> you know, how much is that per acre? I don't know, but it's not much. It's not much per acre, and uh, I'm sure you can do the math. But the point is, is, this is cheap, easy land. You can go off grid. You can put an RV on it. You can put a mobile home on it. You can uh, go without a septic tank. If you make a plan about how you're getting rid of your gray water, you can use a composting toilet and you can do a gray water system. You just have to put like the sink water down uh, underground. If you come up with a plan that covers that base, you can do it without a septic on this property. So $999. Bucks. There's a little road. You can drive up to it. The road might need a little bit of work, but uh, don't they all, right? For this kind of price, <laughs> you could put some sweat into it and less cash, right? So here's the property. Let's jump into it. I've got it on realvacantland.com. Got a bunch of these properties. This one is on, the, let's pull up my map. Got this map. I got a wash over here on one side, and I got a couple of them north of this and south of this on the website. Some of them are already sold, but this this one has uh, been on the website for a bit, so I just knocked the price down, 999 bucks. Got this road on the western side. It's got a bunch of bush um, compared to a lot of the properties. It looks like there's a little bit of topography maybe happening here. Let's, let's see if we, what happens if we go over to Google and do some 3D on this. I had this picture in the background of a cell tower because I wanted to show you the cell coverage in the area too. So we'll get into that. But first, let's see what happens with topography. I mean, there's a wash on one side. So you'd think all the land would go down towards the wash. See if we can scale back. Okay, so here's the road. The property goes maybe a little hump, hump, and then down to the wash. Right? It's not much topography. There's a little bump. Maybe next door's got the bigger bit of bump, but this one's got a little bit of a bump to it. Yeah, you could probably drive your truck over that bump. There's not much topography there. If we look at it from a different angle, you see the mountains off in the distance, nice mesas. Um, yes, yeah, so there's a little bit of character to the land before you get down to the wash. Property ends in the center of the wash, so it goes squiggling back and forth with the wash. Some people ask, so what happens if I reroute the wash? Do I get some more land? No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> it's where the wash is when it's, when it's recorded over, when the transfer happens. Um, yeah, I've read a lot of legal cases on that, <laughs> different people doing different, playing games with the property boundaries, right? Um, so let's see, let's jump out of this, but that's, that's the view. Let me figure out how to get out of here. Okay. So, well, realvacantland.com. It's got the map. You can go play with the map. You can take it in 3D if you really want to. There's a buy it now button. You can hit that if you want to buy it. You click, click, click. Put your title information in there, your tax information, your contact information so I can get a hold of you if I have any questions. Usually it's something like, hello, Mr. Jones. Thanks for buying the property. Um, do you really want to buy it in just your last name? You know, so the title up here is what you want to own the property in. Please put your whole name in there, like your first name, last name. Because if you just do last name, someone else's same last name, it's really easy to just steal the property from you. My name's Luke Smith. I mean, Luke Smith's a really common name. I went to prom in high school, and I went to pick up the flowers for the girl. And I said, my name's Luke Smith, and I got the wrong flowers. And I, got, I ordered flowers that were supposed to match her dress and everything. And um, the other Luke Smith got my flowers, <laughs> you know? There's uh, it was a school I didn't go to, but there's another Luke Smith at that school. There's there's you know when they called over the radio in class, it was like they'd say which Luke Smith, you know the one with the sister, uh, or the one without the sister, stuff like that. Luke Smith's a common name, so like for me, I'd put my middle initial in there, Luke T Smith. But I use a lot more companies than names. So if you use a company, put the company in there. If you're using a trust, put the trust, an IRA. A not a do not a DBA not a doing business as DBA can't own can't own um, real assets. I had a lot of people try that one over on me, and the, the problem with the DBA is there's no one that can sign for it. 
there's no legally authorized person that can make the transfer back to whatever name you want to have it to. So you just cloud up the title. Like if it goes from me to a DBA, I keep owning it, but in its messy title, I can't really transfer it because there's weirdness out there. So please don't put a DBA in there. It's got to be a name that can own a real asset. That's what we're asking for in title. So that's usually why I'm calling you is someone's putting something in title that doesn't make sense. And I'm calling it, calling and saying, can we, you know, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not an attorney. I just see this all day long. So let's, uh, let's make it something more that makes sense. Okay, so click, click, hit next. It starts asking for payment information, credit card, debit card, banking account. Um, then, uh, yeah, I got some pictures of Walmart not too far from here, gas station, other stuff. Um, the market, I mean, it's, do I even have to take you through the market? This is the cheapest one in the area. They're always the cheapest one in the area, right? It's the cheapest one in the area by a long, long, long shot. Next cheapest one is like seven grand. Mine's $999. Like it's not even close. Doesn't even compare. But what I really wanted to show you is I pulled up, um, all this pink stuff, right? I pulled up T-Mobile and that might not be the best coverage in the area, but I like the way T-Mobile kind of sticks it to... AT&T and Verizon and stuff. They're like, nah, <laughs> that's what I like to do to uh, realtors in the regular real estate market, right? It's the underdogs champion. So I, I like T-Mobile. I just cheered on T-Mobile, but it could be anybody's coverage out here. This whole area has got a bunch of pink on it. They've got coverage. I think the darker pink is it's got data, like you can actually get data transfers. Here it says talk, text, and non-LTE data. So you get data, but not the fast data. So you get like slow, slow, slow data. But you could probably still buy the property from the website on your phone with the slow, slow data. You just got to be a lot more patient about it coming up. Probably don't get to see the pictures, but you get to see the layout. Um, so there's there's coverage in the area. Let's, uh, what else is I going to show you? So back to the website, I think we got everything covered. 999 bucks for another one, another 5.16 acre. Go down below, go to the the um, description of this video and there's a link there it'll take you back to the website where you can buy this property where you can click on the GPS coordinates to go tour it take a tour anytime day or night go figure it out um, the one thing I'm gonna put on the deed of the transfer of this property that's different than lots of them I'm doing this basically all over the place in Navajo County now as the county started complaining they changed the laws and they say if, if there's no driveway like official driveway to the property um, you got to build one before you can build on the property. It's like, yeah, there's common sense for you. So go, uh, you got to go register with the county that there's a driveway on the property. So I put a disclaimer on there that you got to go do that and they charge you a little fee and stuff. But if you're going to actually go build on the property, you got to do that with a building permit. If you're just moving in with an RV, I don't think it matters, but, uh, yeah, you're going to want to talk to the county either way and see, see what the, see what their current mood is. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. It's Luke Smith of RuralVacantLand.com and uh, bringing you another easy, cheap land, Navajo County, Arizona. Please take, go take a look at it. See if this is the right one for you. 999 bucks for a little over five acres. If you guys can find some cheaper ones, I'd like to see them. Put them in the comments below. Find some cheaper ones. Find a better deal in this area. Um, chances are it's going to be someone else on RuralVacantLand.com. <laughs> You know, find somebody that's not on realvacantland.com and cook in the fees. You know, look at the fees they're charging and the commissions and stuff too, because there's no fees on this land. 999 bucks, no fees. It's recorded in your name. You don't have to pay anything else. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Luke Smith, realvacantland.com. Talk to you guys again later. Thanks. Bye.